before you speak. I just got the last time I told you. When I you heard told that. Your mother, your mother told me that you told the truth. I told you not to tell me. Hi everyone, we are watching Bent TV and you're watching Lip Service, the programme where we help you solve your problems. I'd like to welcome my panellists to assist with guiding you in the world. My friend Craig, our regular panellist. New panellist, Anthony, well, you not that new, it's second time now, isn't it? Right. Yeah, yeah, so you're, you're not a veteran anymore. Not a newbie, sorry. Newish. <laughs> and Leanne, not a newbie either. No. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bucket load of problems to solve, so let's yeah. get straight into the first one now. We've got Maz. Hot. Maz's problem is she seems unable to determine whether somebody's flirting with her. Mm -hmm. oh. Apparently she's a student and there's this other student who constantly makes excuses to have small trivial conversations, uh, bumps into her you know, after lectures and so on. Literally um, bumps. I, I don't know how severe the bumping is, right. but I, I guess maybe we'll, we'll just assume. <laughs> a gentle rub. Just, just, a, just a little touching, or a, uh, we, maybe I'll clarify next time. Maybe calls, we but, should. Yeah, yeah, but is this uh, other person flirting? Mm. Mm. How do you know when somebody's flirting? Well, I've got the same problem. I can't tell that at all. <laughs> you know what I, you know, what I'm like. I've got no idea. Maybe yeah. I need. You know, it's not until you're horizontal glasses. or something, then you get, oh, maybe. Then, yes, maybe. then I sort of know. Yeah. It's a tricky one, you know. I mean, if Maz is questioning her sexuality mm -hmm. or whatever, if in a student environment, it's really hard to know about those sorts of relationships. So maybe she, it's not about the flirting, but actually about acknowledging or identifying somebody who might be a potential partner. Yeah, you know? true. So it could mm -hmm. be sort of like that sort of stuff going on. So, it's a difficult one because you could be projecting mm -hmm. the idea that they're flirting with you if that's what you're looking for, exactly. or maybe that's what you're kind of hoping for. for. Mm. But um, what, what about the context as well? Where's the bumping and rubbing happening? If it's if it's on I don't the, think there was any Craig rubbing. Craig rubbing. <laughs> Just one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can do some rubbing if you want. <laughs> but if it's if it's in the uh, crowded classroom or on, on the bus on the way home or something, then you know we're yeah. maybe jumping to conclusions. But if it's just them two on the and on, on the oval and you know sitting mm. around having lunch and and you know yeah. bumping and rubbing, bumping yeah. and rubbing, you know, <laughs> guess you can make not some. talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, try the rubbing, Maz. Try the rubbing. You know, see if that helps. So next know. time she gets bumped, do some yeah. rubbing. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Well, the yeah. best flirting line is to say, Are "You flirting with me." Great. Oh. Yes. Oh. Very and then you can say it in a flirty way. way. The old, yeah, yeah. you know, flirty, uh, flirty uh, way. Like in the transparency. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So do you think Maz is actually hoping? Oh, this yeah. is flirting by considering it might be. I think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could, well, yeah. It could well be, yeah. Because if the answer's no, well then just let it go. Well, if the answer's right. yes, mm -hmm. uh -huh. you've got lots, lots of the room to move there, go. haven't you? Yes, yeah. bumping, Some rubbing, all bumping sorts. <laughs> 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 okay, Maz, we think you want this person to be flirting with you. Mm. Okay? Mm. Give it so, a go. Give it a go. Yeah, give rub it a back. Rub. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is a little bit of a sad one. This is from Yim. I'm not sure, I presume Yim is, I don't know whether it's a woman a man or a woman, but um, hey, anyway, Yim is in a bad situation at the moment. They have discovered that their partner is doing some secret online dating. Mm. Uh, apparently Yim uh, checked the phone and discovered that he had, uh, I say he, so it could be a she, uh, multiple accounts on various dating sites, even platinum gold level membership. Does Yim have a problem? Yes. Mm. Craig? Clearly. <laughs> Yim, <laughs> don't hold all, back, in, Craig. all end in tears, my dear. Mm -hmm. But I guess, well, I don't know where this snorting's coming from. <laughs> but I guess. <laughs> Behind. You know, it, yeah, yeah. I, I guess you need to, you know, curb that checking emails and checking phones. That's really the, the challenge here. I mean, is that healthy, really, to check all the mm. private emails and. But you wouldn't Mobiles actually know and... how to, would you? No, I wouldn't. No, no. There's no <laughs> chance of that happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Completely oblivious me, you know. But Yim, you've done some investigating and I don't know, you found some ch some challenges there. So I don't mm. know what mm. the answer is there, mm. but it's mm. pretty sad. Maybe it? he's not sufficiently sexually stimulated in the current relationship. The partner. Mm. Mm. Maybe possibly emotionally happy, but not physical. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's sometimes, you know, you don't go looking for something unless you're prepared for the answer. Mm. That's, that's so, wise words. Yeah, that was deep, wise wasn't it? Words. So I think you're sort of willing to open up this can of worms. I'll keep using as many cliches as mm. I possibly can. <laughs> so, but it's about trust. Yes. You know? Yep. It, it is about trust. That's why I think get rid of this idea of monogamy. If this is the arrangement that Yim yeah. has with, you know, 
um, you know, I think going outside of the relationship to get some sexual needs met occasionally, and I think uh, there needs to be boundaries around it. I agree in sort of ha having some agreements around it. Mm -hmm. But these, these, are, these are the issues monogamous couples get into. Mm -hmm. Forget about mm -hmm. monogamy. Forget monogamy. Yeah. Well, okay. If it's important <laughs> to him, if monogamy is important to him, then he's in the he she's in the wrong relationship. Mm. It'll all end in tears, Yim. So Yim, if, assuming Yim wants monogamy, and well, one assumes Yim's partner does not. Depends mm. on the definition too. If it's only online, I mean, where does flirting and virtual dating and virtual sex start and stop? When I mean, at least the partner's not out on the tear every is, night. Is, 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 okay. is cyber sex sex? Well, I guess how no. I, I guess it depends on how a betrayal is experienced. That's right. And it can right. be any sort of a betrayal, even an emotional betrayal. Exactly. So, um, so it's about betrayal. Yes. I think so. Betrayal and yeah, trust. Yeah, yeah. Betrayal yeah. and trust. Yeah. On both sides. Yeah. But is cyber sex real sex? Oh, how would I know? It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> We're back onto Star Wars again. <laughs> <laughs> that was last week. <laughs> All right, Jim. Yeah, hopefully that's been really, really helpful. Um, Jules. Um, uh, Jules, Jules, Jules. Uh, now, apparently Jules dresses uh, in a certain alternative style. She has very short hair. People constantly think she's a lesbian when she's not. So she's called the Bent TV. What should she do? Uh, mm. Take it as a compliment. Exactly. Absolutely. I yeah. reckon any yeah. sort of, I guess, unconventional sort of presentation out in the community makes it okay for the rest of us to do the same. Exactly. I think. Okay, for or change her look if it's that distressing for her. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's a simple enough thing to do, I guess, isn't it, Jules? Grow mm. your hair. Grow your hair. Grow your hair. I don't know if it's uncomfortable. Throw for away the her. toolbox. You know, people are always going to be <laughs> prejudiced and judgmental about things, aren't they? You know. Yeah. Yeah. So. Hey, um, well, she's obviously sounds like a strong person to make a stand and stand out from the crowd. So I'm surprised that being accused of being a lesbians. Actually, she's impacting. Because they call it, they just, I think that called, was, they, yeah, just yeah. oh, they yeah, think yeah, that yeah, she's yeah. a lesbian. Yeah, just people constantly think she's a lesbian. But she's obviously, oh, well, you know, can be worse things in life, I really, can't Don't worry about it. You know, exactly. She could be a yeah. liberal voter. <laughs> <laughs> that would be uh, worse. Hello. That would be worse. <laughs> we have no political views on this program. I hate to add. Um, I think we've kind of run out. We didn't get through too many today, did we? But mm -hmm. um, um, we'll say good night. Thanks, Craig. Thanks, Anthony. Thanks, Leanne. You've been watching Lip Service. We'll see you next time. <laughs>